this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back now with part three and we are going to make the accordion style pages. Y'all, look how they come out. See? Um, they come out all nice and long. There's lots of pages in here. But now this is what we're going to do in this video. If you have not seen my first two parts, go check it out. Um, the first part is how I built the actual um, album cover and, and so forth. The second one is how I am, how I decorated the front and included the pocket. Now we're going to make the, um, the accordion page holders or the photo holders. Okay. So I went ahead and pre-cut all my, all my, um, paper that I'm going to need for this part. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need um, some solid pieces of paper. So I have cut six pieces of solid paper. Five of them are cut at seven and one fourth by four and three fourths. One of them is cut at seven and a half and four and three fourths. The seven and a half is gonna be the page for the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've already scored these. I scored the one that I scored the one that's on the back, the seven and seven and a half length page. I've scored that one at six and three fourths. So that gave me like three fourths of an inch back here to hold on this to my book. These are all scored at a half an inch. So I just scored them. They come out at seven and three fourths. So I scored it at six and three fourths. Seven and one fourth, I'm sorry. Seven and one fourth and I scored it at six and three fourths. Hope I said that right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold all my score lines. Make sure you get all your little score lines nicely pressed down. And keep going. And then we're gonna add some tape. This is the fun part, y'all. One more. Okay. So I've got all my pages here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the cover that I've already decorated the cover and everything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to adhere this down. So this, the first page is actually going to be fitting just right back in here. And the reason I did the, the extra quarter of an inch is I wanted to make sure it's stable and it won't fall out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it folded down and I'm going to put some score tape right here on the back of the flap. I'm going to use my half inch. I just want to make sure it's nice and secure because you don't want your album to fall apart. Okay. I'm going to peel that off and I might put another one because I want it to stay really well. So let me just go over here and grab another one. I'm gonna layer up my tape here. Okay, let's get this. Get this tape filled off here. Now you're gonna have your page folded down, and your fold is toward your book, or toward the cover of your book. Now you're going to take and you're gonna line it up. Make sure you're within the score line of where your where your book folds. And you want to make sure you line in this up the best that you can. And there we go. Looking good. Okay, so that's our first page. So now what you're going to do is your I, I alternated my color pages. So now what you're going to do is you are going to take another one. And this one is going to fit up underneath. And actually on these... What I need you to do is, you don't have to do this if you want, but on the one I already did, I kind of angled my corners from the score line. So angle your corner from the score line. That way then your, um, your paper doesn't stick out. So now this one is gonna fit right up underneath here. You're gonna have it flush with the end of the paper. So that means I need to put my, my adhesive right here. 
also let me grab, I'm gonna use my quarter inch for these because these are a little bit thinner. Make sure you gotta press down really well. Take your page. You can actually do it like this. Hold your pages together, bring it up to that score line. You want to make sure you get your pages straight and then take and fold it over really well. So now you've got the first part. So now you're going to take the next one. Let me go ahead and corner my or angle my, my uh, corners over here. And this one is going to go down, so the flap is going to go up like this. So this one, your page is going to go on top. So you're going to need to put adhesive right here. So I'm going to go over here, add my adhesive. Press it down really well. And now for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make sure and actually if you want to do this flip it around you want to make sure your tape doesn't go down on it before you've got everything all lined up you can kind of bring it down here to the fold hold it into the center and um, let's just make sure we're good to go fold it down and there we go that way then our pages are nice and straight so now here we go we're starting to make our accordion so the next one, I'm going to grab a red, and let's see here. Did I forget to score? Oh, no, I did not forget to score one. Okay, so let me go ahead and clip my corners. I almost thought I forgot to score one, y'all. It was just hiding on me. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one, and this one's going to go up upright, and this one's going to be adhering like here. So this means I need to put my score tape underneath. And there we go. I'm loving the way this is turning out, y'all. It's turning out really cute. I cannot wait to make more. I am going to make some for all my grandkids' pictures. Okay. And then. I'm going to line this up, see how I'm keeping this, keeping my sides straight, lining this up on the score line, and press it down. Next one, let's trim the sides. Add my tape. This one is gonna go folding over, so this tells me I need to put my tape right here underneath. sticking down on me first. Got it centered on the fold. There we go. So now we're starting to look like this, y'all. Okay, last piece. Angle these corners. This one is actually gonna come from the bottom and it'll be up like this. So, that tells us that we need to put our score tape right underneath here. Okay, got a little paper on that score tape, so let me get that off. Okay, I'm gonna put my score tape. And there we go. And Hold my page up, hold my papers, the sides of my papers, put it on that score line, fold down. 
Now we have all our pages. You can add a few more if you want, if you want to add more. But this is what I'm gonna add. As you see, this is what it's looking like. Now we are going to add some in, some pretty designer series paper over the top. And let's see here, I wanna make sure, I'm hoping I did not cut these wrong, and I did. I'm gonna to have to cut them down. So let me get these cut down. And let me see where I need to do because I've cut this, I've cut them a little too long. Look, I even had them already rounded on the corners, but this is okay, won't take but a sec. So I'm gonna cut this down. Let me see what I'm cutting it down to. Okay, so let me see. I'm cutting, I cut it down, and so this one is actually going to be six and five eighths of an inch. Let me write down my things here. Okay, six and five eighths of an inch times, or by four and a half. Got the four and a half right. Okay, so if you're gonna cut all the designer paper at six, and five eighths by four and a half. And let me go ahead and trim all these, make sure I get all these down correctly. Okay, six and five eighths, I'm just trimming this off and then I'll round up my corners. Uh, six and five eighths. Have you got, if you guys have Netflix, have you guys seen the movie called Dumplin'? I watched that. You know, it ended up being a really good show. It's got Jennifer Aniston. I think it's just a Netflix film. Um, yeah, it was pretty good, actually. You should check it out if you're looking for something good to watch while you're crafting. If you have a TV in your craft room, um, check it out. It's a pretty good movie. Okay, I've just got a couple more. So I've got like 13 of these. Because we have 13 pages we need to cover. So six and five eighths. Can't believe I did this. Thought I had everything good. That's okay. So it'll take but a minute. Get all these down. not wasted my, uh, my Valentine paper I bought. I have really used it. I'm really proud of myself for not buying it and hoarding it. Or uh, as I say, collecting it. Okay, so let me quickly round the corners on these and then we'll be ready to finish this up, this project up. Look at all that mess, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna round these corners on the bottoms. You don't have to round them if you don't want to. I just thought it look, would look nice. And like I said, um, once you put, adhere these down to the pages you just made, if you want, um, when you're putting pictures on here, if you want to layer it up with some nice solid paper, something coordinating, it'll look really good. And there we go. Two more, y'all. Two more. And I am using the half inch end of my, uh, my corner chomper here. There we go. Okay, now let's start. Now the fun begins. You can figure out what you want to do, how you want to layer, what page you want first. And I think that since my cover is red, I think I'm going to go with red on the top. I really like that. So I think that, um, yeah, I'm just going to grab my tape gun and go to town here. 
Just gonna adhere it down. Use your favorite adhesive for this. Doesn't have to be score tape. And we're gonna get this adhered down. Kind of center it up. Do the best you can. Okay, there's the first one. I'm gonna fold it open. Let me see which one I wanna put here. Sorry for my arm there, y'all. Okay, I think I will go with, I think I'm gonna go with this one on here. So I'm going to finish all these up off camera and then when I'm done I will come back and show you guys what this looks like completed. I'll be right back. Okay y'all so I am done with all my pages but the last one, I've got my last paper, it's going to go right here and then all my Pages will be ready for photos and to be layered up with some solid paper. Okay, and this is going to be the last one. You don't have to cover the back if you don't want, but since it's got the tab there, I kind of want to cover it, so I just kind of like it. Just like this, and there you go, y'all. How sweet is this? Look at all the pages. See all the different colors? So it can open like this. Like this. There you go. Or you can go down like this. Like this. Voila, y'all. Beautiful, huh, y'all? That turned out so wonderful. I love it so much. And yes, I did straighten this up for my last after I finished my last one because it was driving me crazy that, that was crooked but look here this is what you do you open up your album you've got a place to put picture here you'll put some designer paper or some cardstock here add your photos on here how sweet y'all it's my grandkids aren't they sweet yeah they're so sweet so anyway I am truly blessed right here y'all these kids right here in fact, yesterday, this little guy, <laughs> this little guy, I go, come here, Bubba, give me lots of kisses, and he made his way over, and I got the biggest wet kiss from him ever. He's just so sweet, he just kiss all over your face. Just love him, and these three, they're getting older where they don't want to kiss you as much, but he's still little. He'll kiss you. Anyway, layer up your photos with some, uh, with some solid paper in there, or if you don't want to, you don't have to, but I would. I would put some solid paper under there to make it look nice. And um, yeah, y'all, and if you were gonna make these, like if you wanted to do an album, like I'm gonna do some of these for my grandkids. And what I wanna do is I wanna put um, pages so I'll have 13 pictures that will be able to go in. That way then every year of them being in school, or even if you wanted to do like 18 pages, add some more pages on it, you can do that too, and you can put the pictures of them every year from the time they were born till they're 18, and then you can go back and look to see how much they've changed over the years. I am definitely going to do that. I need to get busy. I need to make four. So, um, yeah, that will be good, and that way I'll have uh, one for each one of my grandkids. So, um, okay, and also, too, on the first one that I did, I made this belly band. I haven't made one for this one yet. But all I did was cut a piece of paper and it's one inch by 12. And I just took the paper and I wrapped it around it just to find where I wanted my uh, the creases on the side. And let me see if I can just slide this one on. And there you go. So all I did was wrap it around, kind of pinch the corners of it to get it straight. And just put some glue under the back and added a little heart there. That way then it'll stay closed. So anyway, that is an alternate alternative idea that you can also do to keep these closed. Um, add a ribbon around it. Like I said, you can make a little tab with a little magnet to, to 
put a magnet underneath and a magnet in the tab and that will hold it closed as well or you don't even have to you can just put these all in your book your um your bookshelf how sweet is it y'all i'm so excited about these Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this uh, little mini series on how I made this four by six photo album using the um, using this awesome paper uh, from Echo Park that I got it Tuesday morning. And y'all, it was so much fun. Um, I'm not gonna say you get it done in five minutes. This is not a five minute project, but boy, it took me probably an hour and. Once, I, once I've got figured out all my measurements, so on this one, it really only took me about an hour and a half to get it all completed. So, um, but yeah, this one took me a lot longer because I was uh, figuring out all my measurements and everything. But anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this little, little uh, series, um, making this cute little album. Like I said, I'm going to be making more albums. I've got some. I'll probably do some project shares when I make some for where I'm going to put for my grandchildren. That way I can keep track of what they look like every year. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so, mo so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And y'all, if you've got friends that are interested in um, learning something that maybe I've made on my channel, refer them over, y'all, or share this to your social media sites. That'd be awesome, too. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling on. Hope you've enjoyed this, and y'all have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you so much. Bye.